All right, my beautiful followers, good afternoon and happy weekend. Thank God it's Friday. But before then, today I want to answer one of the questions that we encountered during our live class yesterday. And that question is, you know, looking at the setup we have here, which is uh, an automatic changeover switch, the setup we have here only shows the control wiring. It doesn't show the power wiring, where the power comes from mains and where the power comes from generator and how you route the power output to the load from this side. It didn't show that. So today, I'm going to show you that connection, how you connect your generator, how you connect your mains, and then how you connect your load um, through a circuit breaker and to the load itself. So right now, I'm going to do a recap of this one, how it behaves. This is an automatic changeover. If you are running on generator, when you start your generator, your power will be here. So when you close this, it's as good as like you've started your generator. So this, this one will make, and it's going to supply this. This is the only load we have here now. It's supplying from the output side on T1. This is actually a three-phase setup, but we're just taking power from this single phase just for test purposes. Now, as we are running on generator and for some reason mains is restored, um, this timer here is going to delay for 10 seconds. After 10 seconds, it will cut off the power to the coil here and then it will close this one. And this one takes over, that is mains, it takes over to supply power. And then after a while, the generator will go off. All right? So this is exactly what happens. So how do we connect this power coming from generator? First of all, we have the red, the yellow, and the blue phases. So, this is our red phase. So, before then, we shut down power completely. So, this is our red phase. We are going to connect it to L1, which is L1 on our contactor. Uh, first of all, we are going to remove this one. We don't need this one anymore. It's still going to be... Um, our force on the red phase. So we'll take this one off. This one will remain where it is. Okay. So the red phase from mains will go into here. So this is our red phase. Of course, that is where we're going to take power to the control circuit. So we're going to take power from the red phase to our control circuit. So, which is somewhere here where we have 20 volts. So this is going to reside here. And then we close it. All right. Now this is going to be our yellow phase coming from mains. I'm going to connect it here. Go inside L2. So L2 of our mains contactor. That is where this yellow phase goes to. All right. We'll tighten it and there you go. And then the blue phase of our mains comes into this one, which is L3. So L1 is red phase, L2 is yellow phase, and L3 is our blue phase. So we have our red, yellow, and blue from mains. So we're going to connect, we're going to connect our red from the generator into this one. So this is the red, and we'll connect the yellow into this one. And then we'll connect the blue into this one.
So we have the red, the yellow, and the blue coming from the generator. And then we also have the red, the yellow, and the blue coming from mains. Now, coming to this side, so what we do, let us take off these in indicators first so we can see what we are doing. I think they are blocking us. So we just, just keep it aside. We're not throwing it away. Just wait here. So, we're now going to take our load. First of all, let's start with red T1. Take it to T1 of one contactor. You can do that from here. You can connect your load here or here. But I think we have space here so that our line can just go straight from this side. If we push this one a bit, yeah. So here is freer. That is our red. This is our yellow. And of course, this is our blue. So from what we have here, we can only have power going to the load if we're on generator. If we're on mains, the power here is floating. It's not connected anywhere. So we're going to connect it to this place. So we're going to connect red here onto T1. And then we take it to this same red. So we're going to connect red to red, yellow to yellow, and blue to blue. So this red goes here, the same place as this one. That's what we have here. And then our yellow goes here. T2. That's our yellow terminal. And then comes here. It's looped with this one. So this yellow and this yellow they will go into C2 of this one. And then our blue T3 goes into this one. And then it comes here. So we can bring back our indicators. Um, this one, of course, we want to take it from our red face to serve as our indicator of presence of power. Um, this goes in here. Make sure it's tight. And this one. Goes in here. We'll do our best to make sure it is tight. When it is tight. Keep it like this. So, just a quick recap. We we'll connect the red face from the mains here, the yellow face from the mains, and the blue face from the mains. You connect the red face from the generator the yellow phase from the generator, and the blue phase from the generator. And then when you come to this output side, you are going to loop all of them. Red to red, yellow to yellow, blue to blue. And then you tap again, the one that will go to the load. Red, yellow, and blue. That can now easily pass through your circuit breaker. So with this, I believe... We're all on the same page on how to connect the power lines on this automatic changeover switch. Okay, the other question some people asked again was, how do we connect 
our generator to be in auto start mode. I want to repeat. The controller of your generator has a connection for automatic mains failure, AMF. So when mains fails, just shorten these two terminals or two connections on that controller will initiate a start command to your generator and the generator will start. And if you open those two terminals, your generator is going to have a delay to cool down. And then after that delay period, the generator will shut down. Now, how do you bridge or how do you shut those two contacts from that generator controller? By making use of an auxiliary switch like this one that is attached by the side of this contactor. I showed you how we attach this. Okay? You attach this one here. You now connect your wire. Um, one of the wires you can connect here, which is your normally closed contact. Connect one here. Make sure it is tight. This one. We've connected this one. And then we connect this one, the second one, here. And make sure it is tight, real tight. Then take these two wires that you've connected from here, take it to those two AMF terminals of your generator controller. When this contactor is up, these two terminals are closed, meaning that the mains has failed. Because once the mains failed, that is when this should close. And when they close, it will start the generator. So when the generator starts, you can see the load, we have the load here. When the generator starts, it's going to run. You have the load. See the two loads. The loads, they are on together now because we have shot this place. So all the loads that are connected here, they are going to be on this time. You have the load here, connected. So, remember you have connected these two to the terminal, the MF terminals of your generator controller. If mains is restored, and this guy delays for 10 seconds, disconnecting this and connecting this, we're still going to have our loads. You see, we still have our loads connected. All right? So it has changed over from generator to mains. And once that happens, you will see that these two places, these two, are going to be open. All right? They're going to be open. And once they are open, that generator is going to wait for some seconds. Then it will shut down. That even when it shuts down, the power still remains. So I believe with this um, explanation, we understand how to connect our power lines through our automatic changeover switch. If you like this video, please let me know in the comment section. And if you have any further questions concerning automatic changeover switch or ATS, please send me a private message or put it in the comment section and we're going to treat it together. Thank you very much.